last night was the world premiere of Star Wars The Force Awakens here in Hollywood, California. And uh, as, as you know, myself, Mark, uh, Christian, and Tiffany Smith, we all got invited to go and attend the world premiere. Yeah, there's a, a shot of us <laughs> there last night on the red carpet uh, in front of the uh, Honor Guard, and of course there's Phasma there. It was such <laughs> an incredible night. It was just an amazing evening. It is the largest world premiere. I've, I've been to a lot of world premieres. This was by far the largest one we, I'd ever been to. Uh, it was simultaneously happening in three theaters right there in the center of Hollywood that are all right beside each other. The Dolby, which is where they hold the Oscars. The Chinese, which is where the original Star Wars debuted in 1977, I believe is when it, had, yeah. when it had its debut. And the El Capitan, which is right beside it, which is a theater owned by Disney, and they do a lot of the premieres there. So it was spread over all three. They like tented off like half a mile of Hollywood Boulevard. It was all tented off and had all Star Wars stuff, the red carpet, it was just, and, you know, characters walking around in costume. I bumped into Rain Wilson last night, dressed as a full-blown Jedi, uh. which was a lot of fun. Um, it was just for us. Now, you heard us talk about on Jedi Council a few weeks ago about what it meant to us knowing that we were about to go to the premiere. And I got to tell you, it was everything we had hoped it would be. And we want to, I'm going to let Mark share some of his thoughts too, but we want to show you a couple of pictures that we were able to snap, just some personal stuff. So you already saw the one of all of us there. Hey, there's, a, there's a guy we all bumped into last <laughs> night, somebody you might be familiar with, uh, Mark, with uh, a decidedly, di one of these guys looks happy to be taking their picture with the He's other. He's smiling. That is a, that is a George, George Lucas, Lucas smile. That is, a, that is a ear to ear grin. <laughs> that is definitely a George Lucas smile. So there was, uh, let's go on to the next one. Of course, they, for those of you who don't recognize that guy there with Christian, that's not the man. That's the man. <laughs> that is Bob Iger, high lord and king of everything in entertainment today. He's the head chairman over at, uh, he's the big boss at Disney. Uh, of course, in charge of everything that Disney does. That includes Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar, you name it. He's the man. So getting to bump into him last night was a total hoot. Okay, let's go to the next one. And of course, <laughs> hopefully you guys recognize Andy Serkis, uh, Gollum. He, of course, he's Caesar. He was one of the directors on the Hobbit movies mm -hmm. as well. One of the second unit directors, I should say. He's directing his own Jungle Book movie, and he is Supreme Leader Snoke uh, in this movie. So bumping in him was great. Let's see. I think this is the big one in the next one. Oh, there's <laughs> another guy. We were into Luke Skywalker himself. Mark Hamill, uh, after he caught uh, Mark trying to pick something out of his pocket, I think. <laughs> I'm not real sure about that. Um, but it, now, unfortunately, we couldn't bring any, our cameras, we couldn't bring our phones even into the theater. You had to check your phone. So we couldn't take any pictures of how, you know, just how gorgeous and beautiful. I was in, we were in the Chinese theater, mm -hmm. which is just, there's something magic because before the movie started, they were playing this little special on screen going over again that this was the spot that the original Star Wars had premiered. And it, it's something very special about that, you know? Uh, that was really cool. I mean, some of your impressions from uh, last night's festivities. I mean, as soon as we got out of our limo, yes, we got a limo there, you could feel the force flowing through you. And I know you mentioned this, when we got out of the limo, the limo right in front of us dropping somebody off, that somebody happened to be Harrison Ford. Yeah, and, so we <laughs> and we were right in line away. for about 20 minutes. We were in the right. limo line for about 20 minutes. And the door in the limo in front of us gets to the front, and the door opens, and you hear the crowd go wild, and it's like, and it's Harrison Ford. Then we pull up, and everybody's waiting to see who's getting out of our limo, and it's like, oh. oh. And then you hear one voice, Mark, Jedi Council, like one person oh, in, the, in, the, in the audience. Right? So this was a big, big letdown. And then I'm like, what? Every time I hear my name, it's like the bad signal. I'm looking up at it. And so there were a lot of fans that recognized us when we were walking the red carpet. A lot of fans that have been camping out all week just to get a shot at all the stars. We got to take pictures with them. And then just being on that red carpet, for whatever reason, a commoner like me, you just feel so special when you see all these people walking around you from where I am to where Natasha is. That's Steven Spielberg is right there. And then from me to Campia. That's John Williams right there. And I don't like to bother people. I'm a very shy person, if you can believe that. And I just had the right moment where Mark Hamill's right here and George Lucas is right here. And I'm like, I'm never going to get this chance again. And those are the two people, most of all, in the entire universe that I want to get a picture with and just tell them thanks for everything they've done. The kicker to the whole thing was I tapped Mark Hamill on the shoulder and asked to get a picture with him. And before I can get my next line out, he recognizes me. 
Yep. And <laughs> I was like, what the hell do I do now? I took the picture and then he just said, you know, he, he liked what I did. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to go die now. That's all I need well, to do. It was do. cool because we ran into, um, like, you had met him before. I had not met your friend uh, Nathan Hamill. Sure. Mark Hamill's son. Yep. And when I got introduced to him yesterday, I started to say my name. He goes, no, no, I know. I watch your show every day. Yeah. Which is like, yeah. really? And then this was the kicker. If you <laughs> Like, Anne's highlight of Anne's night. Um, Anne's favorite movies of all time, big. Uh, <laughs> then Mean Girls is in the top three. And one of the other movies in her top three is Clueless. That's like one of her top three all-time movies. And it's fu kind of funny because like a show I used to love and watch all the time was Scrubs. So anyway, one of the stars from Clueless and Scrubs, uh, Donald Faison, I'm coming out of the bathroom uh -huh. and this guy comes walking up to me. It's like, dude, big fan of Jedi Council, big fan of Jedi Council. I'm like, hey, cool. And then he's walking away. I'm like, I think that was Donald Faison. <laughs> that was so weird. But then, you know, you, uh, Spike Lee stepped on Ann's foot accidentally and then he looked up so smooth. He goes, and he was really nice about it. He realized he stepped on Ann's foot and looked, oh, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> and, like, and Ann turns and he goes, Spike Lee called me baby. <laughs> I'm like, yes, he did. And then, and it's weird, we're standing in line. This is this was the surreal part for me because there were two check ins there was the regular check in and then there was the limo check in area. And we're standing in the limo check in area and Rubbing against my shoulder here is Frank Oz. And then behind me kind of getting pushed because everybody behind him is pushing too, is Jason Bateman and uh, obviously Spike Lee and then Harrison Ford who had just come in right before Lupita Nyong'o goes over here. And it was just really weird seeing these big Hollywood stars standing in line <laughs> waiting to try to get their tickets so they can get into this thing. That's how big Star Wars is. Yeah, fun fact about Donald Faison, he actually lives in the same loft as Judd Hirsch and Steve Martin where they just do not age. Dude looks the exact same. <laughs> he does! As he did when he was in Clueless. And, you know, John, I don't know about you, but but for me, I think one of my favorite parts of the evening, after I got pictures and, and walked the red carpet and got to meet my heroes, I was it was everything else was going to be gravy. Once we got into the Chinese theater and we took our seats, we still probably had a good hour sitting there right. before the movie actually started they had some stuff going on on the big screen they had the feed from starwars.com then at the dolby where jj and kathleen kennedy came on stage <laughs> and were making some presentations they showed that live to us as well but just sitting there and feeling the anticipation is something that i want to express to you guys that we've seen the movie now you guys have not seen the movie yet and don't just skip over these next couple days enjoy the anticipation enjoy the build-up yes. it is one of the best parts about anything in life is getting excited about mm -hmm. something because regardless of how you feel about whatever you experience afterwards you're just going to want more and you're going to want to get that feeling back and you can't so for the next few days just enjoy getting excited getting hyped you're going to lose your mind have fun with it now uh, i mentioned this on movie talk yesterday we about a week ago we announced that we were going to put up our first non-spoiler review of uh star wars the force awakens last night after we got back here from the premiere however 48 hours before we went to the premiere, Disney instituted a uh, embargo on reviews until tonight at midnight. So we did come back here last night and we shot our Force Awakens non-spoiler review. Uh, you were still wearing your tux. I mean, so I'm actually, still wearing it now. We were, so. we were all still in our, in our outfits. Um, so that review, that non-spoiler review, uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens review will go online tonight at midnight or 12.01 to be specific uh, is when that will go online so keep your eyes open for that. So now we cannot review the film but they did not stop anybody from giving like social media little impressions of the film. So I, all I'm going to do right now regarding Star Wars The Force Awakens is simply this until you see our non-spoiler review tonight. Our spoiler review is coming Friday so keep your eye open for that too. So my impressions my thoughts on Star Wars The Force Awakens are I say nothing yeah. else. You know, John, I can't I say, say anything else. about how much I like Star Wars The Force Awakens. <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowed to say a thing. And you, I like I came in this morning and I was like, I really like I was like, don't tell him anything, but tell me <laughs> tell me something. So I'm that kind of guy who's like I, and so I'm the, I'm gonna see it today. Uh, with Dennis and Wendy, we're going to go see a, a screening. You're at seeing four at four o'clock this afternoon. Four o'clock this at afternoon. Disney. And I'm like what Mark was talking about. I'm that kid. Like I cannot wait. And that these guys saw it and they had that kind of energy and they and they had that positive vibe <laughs> is making me very excited. I keep 
telling myself to stop asking them questions about it, and it's really hard. Wendy's going to kill me, so I'm not going to ask any. We're trying not to enable any, you. Yeah. yeah, so I'm going to. You're, you're, you're like can't be watching me. a Michael Bay trailer. Yeah. It's like, like, like you can't help yourself. <laughs> yeah, so I've only got a few more hours left, and I, of course, will not reveal any spoilers myself, but I'm very excited, and I'm very happy to hear everything that I have heard so far. It just makes me incredibly excited about this film. So. <laughs> hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.